Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes, and today, continuing with the Christmas ornament theme, we're going to go ahead and design and print this model right here. Uh, but before I jump into the Fusion 360 design, I want to take a quick minute just to talk about my approach and how I tackle these designs, specifically in regards to the orientation when I'm 3D printing them. I really hate using supports, so um, my first objective is to design this in a way that can be printed without supports. Uh, I will only use supports as a very last resort. So I'll show you what I mean. Here is the original ornament that I had that I used to base my design off of. And as you can see, uh, my first decision was to go ahead and um, go ahead and make this into two pieces. So I decided that I was going to do the skis separate from the carriage. Um, now the next uh, next problem was to try to design this in a way that I can print the carriage all in one piece and the first problem I saw was going to be this overhang here the little swirly part um, as this is going to be printing up there's no way it's, it's going to be able to print this without generating supports here so this orientation is not going to work um, the next thing I thought I thought to do was to go ahead and um, sort of cut a plane down right here and position it so that um, it prints this way. Um, you can see I was going to have some issues with the overhang here, but the, that could be solved. The main problem I didn't like was the fact that um, then you were going to have to come back and sand this down to to get it curved again. Um, I really wanted to design this in a way that uh, once you printed it, it was pretty much good to go. You can hang it in your tree. Um, so I scrapped this design and the next approach um, I thought was about designing it this way or printing it this way and that would take care of this part here so we wouldn't have any problems with supports there. Um, the problem that I would then have would be um, since this little, um, the border here is inset or the border is actually off, uh, the border here is offset uh, by 0.6 millimeters. Um, this, the inside here, would, would have a hard time printing because it would have to bridge since this wouldn't be flat against the bed. Um, so I really thought about how, how I could um, tackle that and the solution I came across was to go ahead and design, oops, missing, missing a uh, ski on that part, but the solution was to design these little swirlies. Here, I'll grab, um, let's grab this one. Um, these little swirlies here, which um, solve two things. Actually, these will end up functioning as supports um, so that, in fact, you know, when you print this, this, this part here, it wouldn't have a hard time bridging um, between the swirlies instead of bridging from one end to the other. So, in addition to um, providing supports here and then taking care of sort of the design issue I had. Uh, it also functioned as a, a very nice uh, design feature. Uh, in fact, I liked them so much that even if I was to change the orientation again, I would still keep that design in there. Um, so here is a, a time where actually trying to work my way through the design and, and getting it to print in a way that would work actually enhanced the design. So um, I was very happy with, with that result. Um, so okay, let's let's go ahead and jump into the the Fusion 360 design. I basically I, I just want to get the point across that you want to take some time before you just jump into design and and, and just go to town um, to sit back a minute and just think of how this is going to print. And if you come across a problem, don't just automatically think, oh okay, I'll just generate supports. Like really try to work your way through it. And sometimes uh, you know working through these problems can exact can can actually enhance uh, your design as it did here for me. So, all right, let's jump into Fusion. I took a picture of an existing ornament I had and imported it into Fusion 360 using the attached canvas option and used the spline tool to trace around that image. Uh, once I got my basic shape, I went ahead and uh, applied some offset and some sketches here and then extruded those to create a, a basic layout to work off of. As you can see, I modeled only half of the sleigh and then mirrored it on the other side. Next came the chair 
and I chose to give that a curved look uh, mainly because it helped support that outer wall um, as I was going to be printing this I needed something to hold that wall and giving the curved uh, chair look really helped with this and the fillets served a similar purpose uh, allowing a smooth transition to to give um, those walls a, a nice support as they print uh, as you can see here I'm doing the little swirlies and again sort of following that same theme these are going to help uh, with supports um, as far as uh, being able to print that uh, offsetted rim uh, I used the web feature there to give those thickness uh, next came the holes where I'm gonna go ahead and put in the gems and then another little swirly in the front um, just for a nice look uh, I used the extrude to surface there to be able to give that a curved extrusion to match that shape of the front next I worked on the skis and again similar approach I just uh, went ahead and used the spline tool to trace it and um, go, I went ahead and uh, as you can see here where it's going to attach into the sleigh I'm going to go ahead and extend those up a little bit and then I'm going to apply a boolean operation here using the combine feature uh, to go ahead and, and cut those out of the, the sleigh here so I model one and then uh, mirrored it on the other side and I don't show it here but I actually go in and offset uh, the cuts there about 0.2 millimeters so that I get a nice friction fit and that's about it and here's the finished sleigh uh, I applied some color and came out pretty nice uh, so next onto the 3d printer that white filament really reflects a lot so I gotta really turn down the light there uh, but as you can see uh, it came out uh, pretty nice I didn't have to do much cleaning up at all I mean there there's the um, model straight out of the, the printer and then it was time to prime it uh, so you can see I primed the sleighs there and the skis um, there's just a little bit of fine sanding there and then applied the color uh, I decided to do a few so I did one in red one in gold and also one in silver uh, this is just um, paint that I went to Home Depot and uh, and bought the silver is actually um, a metallic paint the silver and uh, the gold uh, here I'm gonna go ahead and attach the gems and I just used uh, some glue and uh, just pop those into place and those um, the glue dries pretty fast so those uh, settled right away and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the skis again same thing just applied a little bit of glue there and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the skis now I could have chose to do this part prior to printing but I really wasn't sure what my um, printing or my painting colors were going to be so I decided just to uh, do it separate or do it later just to keep my options open as you can see just press fit I, I pushed those right into place and there is the finished sleigh and here is the gold one the red one and all three one more thing I want to show you and uh, that's the approach I took to be able to hang this uh, from a tree so I have this little piece of wire and actually I found this at the jewelry section of the crafting store it already has a little loop on the bottom and then you can just take a pair of pliers and loop the top I did design into the model a hole that is wider on the bottom and smaller at the top so that you can go ahead and do this uh, you're just gonna take a pair of pliers and loop the end to there um, you don't have to use the exact same um, you know hardware I used a piece of wire would work just you would just loop it on both ends just be careful you don't scratch your model as I did in mine paying too much attention to the camera here and not on what I was doing all right as always I'm gonna go ahead and throw these design files on Thingiverse where you can download and print them if you're interested in learning how to design for 3d printing don't forget to check out my course uh, designing for 3D printing with Fusion 360. I'm going to go ahead and put a link down below. And if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe because there will be plenty of more on the way. All right, guys, take care.